there is a, a man that I met many years ago. His son was about ready to go to college. He was actually killed by another young man that was, it was his initiation into a gang. They found the young boy. His son was killed. And, you know, it's a tragic story. But this gentleman turned it around to wanting to know what motivated that young man to kill his son. And from that, he started a foundation that he is all about peace and freedom. And he actually has written to the governor, the last couple of governors because he is petitioning to get this young man out of jail, not to spend the rest of his life in jail, because he actually has visited this young man in prison and he wants him to be working with him on and in his foundation about going out and talking to kids about gangs and about violence and absolutely talking to them about how do we create a peace? How do we create an inner peace? And I think that's really what forgiveness is all about, is creating an inner peace inside of ourselves. So some people can look at another, at someone and say, wow, how could they possibly do that? But why not? You know, again, a, an example that we use a lot up at our advanced courses is, you know, a young woman that was raped, it, you know, spends her life, you know, making everyone around her pay for that. Whereas someone else created a home for women that were abused and are sexually abused to be able to come to to heal themselves. So we have different venues that we could actually use and which one is going to support us in creating the legacy and the mark that we want to leave on this planet. So that's what I'm going to ask everyone to really start to look at. Wow, how am I using this to not be the extraordinary person that I was put on in this planet. That it is time for all of us to know that we are the author of our life. We are the author of our future. We cannot change the past, but we can definitely change the present and transform what happens in our future.